I can't believe I've been here almost seven seconds and you haven't asked me how my date went. Oh, yeah. Great, great. How was your date, Chandler? <laughs> it was unbelievable. I, I've never met anyone like her. She's had the most amazing life. She was in the Israeli army. Luckily, none of the bullets hit the engine block. So, we made it to the border. But just barely, and I... I... I've been talking about myself all night long. I'm sorry. What about you? Tell me one of your stories. All right, once, <clears throat> once, I got on the subway, right? And it was at night. And I rode it all the way to Brooklyn. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> we talked till like two. It was this perfect evening, more or less. All of a sudden, we realized we're in Yemen. Oh, I'm sorry, so we is? Oh. We would be me and Rick. Who's Rick? Who's Rick? My husband. Oh, oh so, so you're divorced? No. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. So you're widowed? Hopefully. No, I'm still married. So uh, tell me, how do, you, how do you think your husband would feel about you sitting here with me? Sliding your foot so far up my pant leg, you can count the change in my pocket. <laughs> I imagine he'd be okay with you because really he's okay with Ethan. Ethan? There's there's an Ethan? Mm, Ethan is my boyfriend. What? <laughs> so explain something to me here. Um, what kind of relationship do you imagine us having if you already have a husband and a boyfriend? I suppose mainly sexual. Well, you know, monogamy can be a, a tricky concept. I mean, anthropologically speaking. <laughs> fine, fine. All right, now you'll never know. Hey, listen, we borrow a couple of things. Aurora spent the night. I really want to make her breakfast. Oh, you got the whole night, huh? Uh, yeah, well, I only have 20 minutes until Ethan, so, you know. Ooh, do I sense a little bit of resentment? No, 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 no resentment. Believe me, it's worth it, okay? You know how in a relationship you have these key moments that you know you'll remember for the rest of your life? Well, every single second is like that with Aurora. And I've just wasted about 35 of them talking to you people, so. Oh, my God, I'm late. Oh, no, 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 Don't go, don't go. Okay, okay. Oh, no, I have to. Look at that, she's leaving. I'm sorry. He'll be waiting for me. Oh, well, I thought, I thought you talked to Rick. It's not Rick. Ethan, he got to spend the whole day with you. No, it's it's Andrew. <laughs> I know there'll be many moments in the years to come when I'll regret asking the following question, but <laughs> and Andrew is he's new. So what you're saying is you're not completely fulfilled by Rick, Ethan, and myself. No, that's not exactly what I was. Well, you know, most women would kill for three guys like us. So what do you want? You. You have me. No, no, just you. What do you mean? Lose the other guys. <laughs> like, all of them? Come on. We're great together, why not? Why can't we just have what we have now? Why can't we just talk and laugh and make love without feeling obligated to one another? And up until tonight, I thought that's what you wanted, too. Well, you know, part of me wants that, but it's like I'm two guys, you know? I mean, one guy's saying, shut up, this is great! <laughs> but there's this other guy. Actually, it's the guy who wells up every time the Grinch's heart grows three sizes and breaks that measuring device. <laughs> and he's saying, you know, this is too hard. Get out, get out! So... Which one of the two guys will you listen to? <laughs>